watching my other video and you're probably wondering where I was going there at the end. Yeah, so um, if we are going to do this minivan, um, Brian's going to, like, he has to be on the papers because it's going to be his. Um, he's the one with the insurance and he's the one with the license. Um, if you known me for the time that I've had this uh, channel page, <laughs> I don't drive, and I'm not planning on driving. Nope. I get around by bike if I had one, which I'm hoping to, again, sometime get a bike. Um, I love walking, and... Um, yeah, so that's basically, or I'll ride the city transit, which is no problem. Um, I've done it for the <clears throat> majority of my life, and then there was a little bit of time there where when my stepdad came into the picture, he had a car, and then something happened where he got into an accident, and there was a dispute, and he couldn't afford it, and his car got taken away to an auction, and then they wanted him to pay what they couldn't sell it at the auction for. And then he got his job again working back at Chrysler, the plant here in Brampton. And was working enough and got himself a Dodge Sprint. It was a white car. And then from there we decided and we talked about getting a minivan. And it was like a greenish blue type of color and he had that and then he traded that and he got a uh, a ruby um, wine color van and then from there he had I believe it was a Concord I'm not sure he got himself into a big old heaping mess with that wasn't able to make payments and whatnot so that car had to be repossessed, which was really bad because my sister was a witness to it when she was still living at home. And then now he has um, a different kind of Chrysler car. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, when I find out the name, I'll let you know. But um, it's a car I'm not um, particularly interested in, but hey, everyone has their own taste. Whatever car you're driving right now, there goes my email again. Um, whatever car that you're driving right now, <laughs> it doesn't matter what people think. You know, we all have our own taste. Just like this sweatshirt. Um, <clears throat> This sweatshirt actually came from my sister. She found it kind of big on her, and it fits me perfect, and it's actually starting to become one of my favorite sweatshirts in my uh, clothes lineup for uh, winter time. I really like this sweatshirt. Um, so um, I got to do some crunching of our budget and see how much money we have at the end of the month. Um, I'm going to basically go on the, the basic, um, the exact amount. Um, Brian's pay goes up and down um, every two weeks because his pay from working days is totally different from working afternoons. And if he works midnights, that's a totally different ball game there. So, <clears throat> sorry there, I had to clear my throat. And uh, I'm just going to work off the basic. You know, I'm going to go on the, um, like, the right level. When it comes to pay, I'm not going to worry about if he gets extra or whatnot. So I'm going to work with the basic uh, budget that I can. And um, I'm hoping he can get our cable uh, switched because we have to call today. Um, he's going to call and deal with that. And we're going to see if there's any channels we can kind of take away. Um, we do like the time shifting. And I think it's 301, 302, um, those channels we need to have so that we can watch the new episodes of Shameless, which started yesterday. 
Um, Shameless was not only on 301, but it was also on City TV Channel 8, but it was an older episode that we have already seen. And I'm like, that's not the new episode. So uh, we found it on the higher channel, I believe 301, and it was an awesome episode. Um, They're on season four. And um, I was told from Brian it's a spinoff to um, a British Shameless, but they just have different actors. But I find the actors in this Shameless, the American one, is actually much better than the British one. Now, I'm not saying all British shows are terribly bad, no. There's a lot of British shows that I absolutely love. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, I used to watch um, Are You Being Served? Loved that. Um, I also loved um, Keeping Up Appearances. I do have, I think, one or two video DVDs, I believe, um, of that um, series. Um, I watched almost all of those, and those were awesome. Um, I do have almost all of Mr. Bean. I don't have his stand-up comedy, I don't believe. Um, But Mr. Bean was one of my favorites, and I have all his VHSs and a couple of DVDs, I believe. Um, there was another one, um, there was a few other British shows, um, I forget what the name of the, uh, one British show, uh, that there was. I just remember there was a girl and two sons, and the one son was the oldest, and there was a mom and a dad, and, um, the oldest one was always getting himself into trouble and whatnot, but that was um, a really good show um, to watch series as well. Oh, excuse me, I burped. But yeah, um, that's basically about it. Um, okay, the time here. Okay, I was looking at the time. It's almost eight minutes going on here um yeah so we'll see what goes on you know um maybe this year might be the year for us to get a van or maybe not um it is something we've been playing with since last week we were kind of getting serious at it uh before yesterday um we do have a van that we are interested in um brian uh, realized that all he had to do was type in the brand of the van and the make that we wanted and all the ones located in um, surrounding cities and in Brampton popped up and we could look at the different price ranges. Um, I was pretty shocked to see that um, some of them are as high as 12000 and down and um, I'm probably sure we could probably see one cheaper than 5000 But um, that might be cutting it a little close, but who knows? We'll have to see. Um, the one that we were interested in that uh, Brian was supposed to go look at yesterday that he, he didn't, um, uh, the only thing other than just the scratch that needs to be fixed on it Everything else seemed pretty good, and it came with an extra set of tires, and, um, yeah. Um, so once I get the budget, uh, figured out, and we find out exactly how much more insurance is going to cost us, um, having a van that's closer to, you know, uh, 2013, um, we'll be able to decide, um, if the year that we're going for is good enough or if we should go down closer to 2099 kind of thing. Because our car now is a 98 and, um, 
insurance on her isn't too bad, but thinking that maybe we might get a break. You know, like John said to um, the insurance company, Brian needs to get a break here. You know, he's a perfect driver. Um, he got a ticket once. Uh, we dealt with it. We paid for it. But we also learned that um, before even thinking and considering about paying a ticket, go and see if you can try to fight it. So the last ticket that he apparently got, which was uh, a misunderstanding on his part because he didn't stop long enough at the stop sign, and we didn't know that there was some issues with that stop um, with previous people complaining because it was in a school zone um, area kind of thing. Um, he just went and fought the ticket, and it was dismissed. We we didn't have to pay anything, which was um, benefit on our part, and um, the insurance company didn't see any problem with it, and we were in the clear, and we were good. So we're trying to keep ourselves out of getting any tickets. Um, from what I see, Brian is a very good, excellent driver. Um, He's taught me a lot of um, stuff, and even though being a passenger, um, I'm learning a lot from other drivers. Um, there's drivers that don't care, there's drivers that drive too slow, and there's drivers that like to drive too fast, and then there's drivers that go in and out, in and out, and um, there's drivers that just are looking to cause accidents. But I guess that's about it for now. Um, I gotta get these loaded up and don't want to spend another day trying to get these videos going for you guys um, and uh, spend my day not doing what I need to be doing um, and get done. Um, I'm trying not to be a, a procrastinator as I usually am with things and whatnot. I'm gonna go have some lunch and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Just. Uh, Keep watching for videos. Um, I'll post what I can and maybe I'll do another update and let you know what's going on with our cable. Um, we are going to try to change our package and uh, get ourselves locked in for another year so that we're at our nice comfortable price. And um, see if I can work out our budget to save some money somewhere. All right. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.